Oh, come on, guys. A little challenge would be nice. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 games that are too easy. Are you a fan of this video? Be sure to subscribe to catch our latest show, The Bolt to E3. Four gamers take an epic road trip from San Fran to LA, gaming all the way. Watch the whole series now on WatchMojo. For this list, we'll be counting down promising video games whose simplistic gameplay, short length, pushover enemies, liberal health, or anything else that made the game a walk in the park significantly affected our enjoyment of them. We're not saying these games are bad, just that they could have been a lot better if they weren't so easy to blaze through. Number 10, Luigi's Mansion. Hello? Being the first Mario-centric title on a new console is definitely a massive undertaking, and critics generally agreed that Luigi's Mansion did a respectable job of introducing the Marioverse to the GameCube. That said, both the length and difficulty left a lot to be desired. We're not sure if it was to appeal to a younger audience or what, but this game was far too easy, as the ghost vacuuming was overly simplistic and the boss battles were laughably effortless. On top of that, the game could be completed in about six hours, which makes the insulting difficulty all the more frustrating. <laughs> Number 9, Pokemon Sun and Moon. After the massive craze that was Pokemon Go, a lot of casual and older Pokemon fans were ready to jump back on the bandwagon and diggle it into the newest title in the series. Lucky for them, the games were both really easy and accessible. Some changes which made the game more simplistic were met with criticism, like the new move efficiency indicator, while battles were criticised for their less than formidable AI. Even the trainer battles are a cakewalk, as most of them only have an average of one or two Pokemon. While Pokemon has always been for kids, these newest titles seem to be the most accessible ones yet. Number 8, Diablo 3. You call this hard mode? Pro tip, play on Torment if you can, unless you want to breeze through these enemies like they're helpless puppies instead of hellish monsters. A major criticism aimed at the game since its release has been that it was far too easy compared to its predecessors. Many critics pointed out the weak enemies and easily obtained legendary items, which in turn make the rest of the game a cakewalk, even if you increase the difficulty. Others complained that potions are too plentiful, and that health potions are basically unneeded due to the ease of battles. Number 7, Blue Dragon. The artist behind Dragon Quest, Chrono Trigger, and Dragon Ball working on a brand new IP? Sign us up! While the JRPG featured some spectacular character designs by Akira Toriyama and stunning graphics, the generic gameplay fell below expectations, as did the game's difficulty. Most of the game is simply too easy to be considered an epic adventure, especially with regards to the boss battles. While the odd fight here and there might prove somewhat challenging, and chances are you will plow through hordes of standard enemies like they're wet pieces of paper. Number 6, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time. The 80s and early 90s were, and still are, well known for their excruciatingly difficult games. This, however, is not one of those games. While Turtles in Time is no doubt an absolute classic, we can't ignore the game's major flaws, repetitiveness and length. Look, we love the game too, but there's no denying that the combat can be pretty boring and monotonous after a while, and once you get the hang of it, the game becomes a walk in the park. It also doesn't help that it's painfully short, as you can complete it in less than an hour. Number 5, New Super Mario Bros 2. A staple of the Mario franchise is undoubtedly the collection of coins. Too bad that this title decided to go bonkers with the coins and kind of ruined the game in the process. This series has an entire country's economy worth of coins to collect. Problem is, the game retains the 100 coins equals 1 life mechanic, meaning that it becomes borderline impossible to run out of lives. Seriously, even if you aren't actively trying to collect coins, chances are you will have accumulated enough of them through your journey to never see that game over a screen. It's still fun, but don't expect much in terms of challenge. Oh yeah, Mario time. Number 4, Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor. I'm going now! 
Next time I'll kill you all the way! Man, the novel and movies definitely made the forces of Mordor seem a lot more threatening than these babies. Yes, the game can be difficult if you charge in like the Rohrim at a warchief while woefully unprepared, but if you played with strategy and continue to level up throughout the experience, much of the game is disappointingly easy, especially when utilizing an enemy's weakness. The Arkham style combat is extremely simple and makes mowing down common enemies a breeze, and the final boss is laughably bad in its simplicity. Straight down, Johnny! I cannot hold it for much longer! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Number 3 Kirby's Epic Yarn Upon release, Kirby's Epic Yarn was praised for its gorgeous visuals, imaginative level design, and therapeutic properties. While this is all well and good, there is next to no challenge to be found in this game, so those wanting a more traditional gaming experience look elsewhere. The game is rarely if ever frustrating and you're unable to die, which makes the entire experience much less challenging or impactful. While the game finds challenges in other ways, the inability to die and resulting lack of stimulation turned off a lot of players when the game was released. Number 2 Prince of Persia Well, they said I couldn't find my own ass in a sandstorm, and here I am proving them right. This game is purely style. Unfortunately, it was severely lacking in the substance category. While it may look spectacular, its gameplay is insultingly easy, and many critics agreed that the game held your hand far too often. The game's platforming is straightforward, and the combat is a joke, as you're able to mow down foes like you're a Terminator. Also, the fact that your companion saves you every time you miss a jump is just insulting to those of us who wanted a little challenge, as it is literally impossible to lose. Number 1 Yoshi's Story Whatever you do, don't go into this game expecting a 3D Yoshi's Island or you will be terribly disappointed. For one thing, Yoshi's Story featured just 24 courses in the entire game, compared to the 50 plus of Yoshi's Island, and Story's courses can be finished in a matter of minutes. To add insult to injury, only 6 of the courses had to be completed in order to finish the game, meaning the game could technically be beaten within an hour. Add to that the fact that the gameplay consists of finding and eating fruits of which there is an overabundance, and in short, there's no challenge whatsoever. Hey, it's colourful though. Are you a fan of this video? Be sure to subscribe to catch our latest show, The Bolt E3. Four gamers take an epic road trip from San Fran to LA, gaming all the way. Watch the whole series now on Watch Mojo.